Hello and welcome to lunch with the editor. Today we discuss primarily the Prime Minister's call against cow vigilantism and asking state governments to check what has been going on in the streets of the country from Balabgad in Haryana to Jaipur in Rajasthan to Jharkhand and elsewhere. It's a, it's, a, it's a very, very welcome move by the Prime Minister. And also, we also discuss the surprise vice presidential candidate of the NDA. Tomorrow is the last day to file nomination for the election to vice president's post. And till now, we don't know who NDA's candidate, the candidate is. And more interestingly, there hasn't even been some intelligent speculation. So that's how uh, closely guarded a secret it is. And also the presidential polls, uh, it is uh, underway from uh, 10 in the morning to 5 in the evening, it's going on. So before all that, I would like to introduce uh, the current issue of Outlook magazine. This is on the Indian Space Research Organization and the amazing success uh, that uh, the organization has achieved. Almost every month, this organization is surprising us. At times, it is sending 104 uh, satellites together um, into its orbits. At other times, you know, it is uh, demonstrating its technological uh, achievements by firing a cryogenic rocket, which it called a fat rocket, a huge one um, according to their standards. And the most interesting thing about ISRO is that the end th that it costs very very little for this organization to do what it is doing. And more interestingly probably, more surprisingly, this is a government organization. Pranay, what is, I mean, it is, isn't, it, isn't it simply amazing that a regular government department, it is just another government department, is a center of excellence in this country? This is absolutely a success story as far as India is concerned. Because what they have done, the kind of, you know, resources in comparison, if you, if you compare it with NASA. kind of, yeah, uh, institutions that you have in the West or in other countries, the kind of money that they get, it is absolutely surprising that the kind of work that they have done from where they came and where they are reaching now. It's not only that it has drawn, you know, a lot of attention, uh, focus of the country, of I mean, from different sections within the country. It's different countries which are looking at us from. I remember a diplomat was, I mean, earlier talking about it. A senior dignitary from West Asia came, you know, and among the visits was a visit to ISRO. He was surprised because here they are not dressed in, you know, jacket and a tie or this, that, all these, uh, with some uh, caste mark also, that kind of, you have. Not even yes. caste mark. I mean, Vibhuti on the forehead uh, doesn't really mean emotional, anything. I mean, and very, like very, very religious, very Absolutely pious people. Right. And the kind of work that they're doing, he said, I'm amazed. 